the story I'm about to tell you um, just came to me spontaneously this morning. I listened to 10 minutes of this Access Consciousness um, radio show. And um, when I was talking to my uh, a friend of mine, I was just laughing about something. No, no, it just came to me spontaneously. Um, it's inspired a lot by Access Consciousness um, things. If you don't know what that is, you can go to accessconsciousness.com. And I don't know. It just came to me. So it is called Sirius and EMS. Once upon a time, there were two men, Sirius and EMS, even more serious. Everything in life had to be planned. Every move. I mean, every move. EMS even had a specific schedule for the times he visited the poop room. One day, his client was one minute late. He shook his head and pointed to the clock. I'm one minute behind schedule, he exclaimed as he started to sweat with anxiety. We can prove one minute faster, suggested Sirius. Brilliant, phew, said EMS. EMS proceeded with his day. Sirius and EMS lived together. EMS could only live with Sirius, and Sirius could only live with EMS. Everything had to be perfectly ordered. Even the plates were chronologically arranged from the date they were created. One thing you could most certainly never do is mix up the mugs. The red one was for coffee, the black for tea, the orange for liquor, the green for soda, the purple for jasmine tea, the pink for orange or lemon juice, the white for water, and it went on and on. Their motto was, order is what this planet needs. Rules, laws, rate, and regulations were God's gift to the planet, according to Sirius and EMS. That evening, there was a knock on the door. Sirius and EMS looked at each other, puzzled, as they noticed the time. We have no plan to visit, said Sirius. We don't have time for this, said EMS. He ignored the knock in hopes it would go away. The door simply kept going. We don't have a choice, they thought. Okay, okay, you just have to sleep us, said EMS, very annoyed as he rolled his eyes. As they opened the door, they noticed it was a child. Hello, I'm unexpected, said the child wearing a purple skirt shirt, green pants, and orange shoes. Both Sirius and EMS looked at each other in terror. That does not match, said Sirius. EMS rushed over and rewrote their schedule, placing unexpected visit in there, so it was not so unexpected. Okay, we're good, he said to Sirius. The child looked at them and passed gas. Put that in your schedule, he said as he laughed. Sirius and EMS did not think that was, this was funny at all. Unexpected began to look around the house. Everything followed, every lay regulation known to mankind. When we sit here, said Sirius, as he pointed to the chair that was marked guest. Why? asked Unexpected. Because it says guest, don't you see? answered EMS. Unexpected sat on the floor. I don't need a chair, the floor feels better, said Unexpected. Of course, Sirius and EMS began to panic. They began to recite all about the bacteria the little child could get from the floor and the scientific evidence backing it up. Unexpected passed gas once more. To what do we owe this horror, I mean, honor, asked Sirius. No reason, answered Unexpected. I just felt it would be fun to come visit. Sirius and EMS looked at each other in confusion. Sirius quickly rushed over and grabbed the Book of Order, rushing through the papers trying to find this. 
No, no, this is not possible, said Sirius. It does not exist. But I am here, said Unexpected. Yes, but this is a mistake. We will mess up the order, said EMS. EMS went on a long dissertation on how one plus two equals three. Unexpected, bored out of his wits, began looking around to see what he could do that was done. The couch looked quite comfy. Unexpected began jumping up and down on it, having a grand old time. Sirius and EMS stood, not believing their eyes. That is not what couches are for, said Sirius. Unexpected ignored them. He was having too much fun. He even knocked over the flower arrangement with his perfectly all white roses. The pillows were colored accordingly. This is not fun, he thought, as he switched them up and resumed jumping. EMS was yelling for unexpected to stop until he noticed something. Not only did the couch look more beautiful this way, with his pillow arrangement, but he suddenly had a magnificent idea. His clients had been asking him for a new idea, an instantaneous jolt of intricate design for their new buildings. EMS had not been able to come up with them. There were only certain designs in the Book of Order, nothing else existed. EMS realized something else was possible. It was brilliant. He was searching for years in the Book of Order for a way to make this happen. I will one day, he would say, but never gave up. There must be something that already exists in the world that we can use, he thought. Now he realized that he was searching for something that already existed. I mean, when he could have been searching all along for that which had not been created yet. Not only could it be done, but he could take it to a whole nother level. The child stopped jumping on the couch, reached in his back pocket, and handed a colorful book to Sirius and EMS entitled Chaos. As they opened the book, they noticed there was no writing in it. Only various sparkly creatures, images, shapes, and symbols which changed constantly every 10 seconds. This was the end of Planet Ridiculous and the beginning of Planet Infinite Possibility.